Hi, I'm Mark. I'm the Kitchen Pro. Uh, today I'm installing crown molding on the, the kitchen cabinet. This is actually the hood. Uh, it's going to have a metal liner inside, but this is the hood that goes over the range. Uh, so the crown molding, we're going to put up like this here. A um, couple things that I do. First of all, is I uh, set the molding into a actually a 90 degree corner and, um, and figure out uh, how, how tall the molding sits off the ceiling. So actually I um, put it up there and, and, uh, and I look on the edge to see, make sure that it's, make sure that the molding sits uh, nice and flat. Now there usually there's a little bit of slop in there so you could, you could move it up a little bit or move it down a little bit. But what I try and do is find that center mark and then I mark it. And uh, uh, once I get my, that mark off the, the height, then I start with a little block, and what I do is I mark it in different areas. And you can see the, the pencil mark here and here, where I've marked it all the way around, so that when I put the, put the crown holding up, it's, uh, it's not only straight, but what it also does is it helps me um, when I do the 45 at the corner, because if, uh, if I start with the crown holding, let's say, up a little bit too far, that 45 is not going to go together uh, properly. And then what also what I do is I take that same dimension um, and, and I cut it on the chop saw. Uh, but what I do is the chop saw, you're supposed to do, uh, whenever you cut crown molding, you have to cut it upside down and backwards. So uh, that's the proper way the crown molding goes up. This is the top here. So, but when I cut it on the chop saw, as I turn it around and I actually cut it like that, upside down and backwards, and then you get your proper angles with the cut. Uh, so on the chop saw, I've marked it also too, so that um, the, I got the angle just right. Because if you, uh, once again, even on the chop saw, if you cut it just a little bit off angle, then your 45s and your corners are not gonna be real precise. You can see where uh, I've already put this one up, and uh, I haven't even uh, done any sanding or anything on that corner. It's pretty tight. So um, it really helps a lot. Um, so that's uh, kind of my technique, what I do for uh, crown mold. Hi, this is Mark. I'm back. Okay, so uh, with the crown mold, uh, maybe you can see me down here. So the crown mold, I wanted to show you one more technique that I have. Uh, sometimes, especially, this is paint grade crown molding. We're gonna be painting it. Uh, but sometimes I've done stain grade where it has to be just like, you know, the corners have to be really dynamite. So one of the things I do is instead of assembling it at the cabinet, if you can, it's nice to be able to put it together down, uh, down before you actually put it up. So this one corner here, um, I'm gonna actually assemble it real quickly right here and uh, just take a little glue. And what I do is I find a flat surface, something that's uh, construction quality so that uh, if the nail goes through the wrong way, it doesn't hurt anything. Um, so then, put it together, that's be, there we go, that's pretty tight. And put a nail through there. And one more. You can take it right out to the edge and get your gun down. It makes it a little easier. So with that, then uh, then the corners. Uh, really put together well. Uh, there's no gaps and stuff like that. So from that, then I could uh, go ahead and put it up on the cabinet, uh, and it uh, goes together pretty well. So that's one more technique that I have uh, for putting up crown molding.